A little earlier, we were hearing Guardian columnist Zoe Williams discussing the possible reasons for the rise of the far right in Europe. She mentioned Poland as a particular example of a country that has embraced the right to such an extent that there are no longer any left-wing parties in the parliament. Rafael Pankowski is the founder of the left-leaning magazine Nijiwiscza. He told me why he thinks Poland's political landscape has become so. So extreme. Poland used to be a very diverse, multicultural society. Today, it is one of the most mono-ethnic, monocultural societies in the whole of Europe. But unfortunately, uh, what I think we are dealing with is, to a large extent, a breakdown in in empathy vis-à-vis members of a different group. There is also a paradoxical nationalism among the Polish diaspora. So I think we are we are really dealing with the crisis of identity and democratic values on many levels, especially the younger generation of Poles who are often born and, and raised in a, in a new democratic society. So it is paradoxical that, that many of them are, are are actually prone to anti-democratic ideologies. Can I ask you about the media in Poland? I know that a lot of the media is uh, in favor of the government, uh, but tell me about the tone it uses when talking about dissident voices. Well, I think this is a really important uh, part of the of the Polish context today and the very negative role played by the government controlled media uh, that have been turned into a propaganda machine. We had some very nasty examples of of uh, campaigns of vilification not just of ethnic minority groups, but also critics and opponents of the ruling party. This, I think, becomes more and more of a concern to people in Poland. If you visit Poland periodically, everything looks so much better. Year by year, you see this, uh, you know, new pavements, uh, clean shops, and it looks so much better than the time before. So where does this angst, where does this feeling of, of, of doom come from? Yeah, that's a good point. And once again, I, I agree, there is a certain paradox here. And, you know, don't get me wrong, I don't want to generalize. I, I'm, I'm not trying to say all the Polish people suddenly became xenophobic nationalists. Obviously, the situation is much more complex. But there is no doubt that nationalism is on the rise. And not just in Poland, of course, but Poland is a good example of this broader European tendency. Poland wasn't affected by the global economic crisis uh, in the same way that many other countries, such as Greece or or Latvia, were affected. Uh, So very clearly, economic growth does not guarantee democratic culture. And I think this is the challenge we are facing uh, in, in Poland and across Europe today. That was Rafael Pankowski from the magazine Nijki Witze, who is in Vienna to take part in the Institute for Human Sciences debate called Europe's Far Right on the Rise.